Knight Unity tutorial, I plan to show how we can have an object like this one turn and point to another object slowly. That's the trick, to slowly point and turn to another object. And that other object, of course, could be moving. So let's see if I press play here and I could move my other object here. I think just to make it a little easier, I'll have this Z axis, which is forward, point forward. So when I'm moving, it's not as, I could just have the sense I'm moving in the right direction here. So how do I get this to keep pointing at my, um, my square, but to point at my square slowly, not like locking onto it. So um, first I'll just show you here, I just have a simple plane and my player is a cube. And then this cool looking object here that I made, it's just a combination of cubes, you know, size and everything. So I can tell which is the back and which is the front. All right. So the player, it just has a script here for the movement. And it's really simple. I have a speed that I move at. Then I read the input from the horizontal and vertical axis. That means that I could use a joystick or I could use the WASD keys or I could use the arrow keys to move around. All right, so now if horizontal and vertical have a value, I'm going to move on the X or the Z. And then I use transform.translate to move whatever amount on the X or whatever amount on the Z. Okay, so that is not the um, focus of the tutorial. That's just showing you how I made the script to move the cube around. Now, the focus of the, 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 focus of the tutorial is to try to get this follower, follower object to slowly turn and point to wherever the cube is. So here's my follower object. Of course, we're gonna have to do it with a script. So I'm gonna add a new script. I'll just call it follower for a script. And we'll write this script together. So let me double click over here to open the script. And I'll just get rid of that stuff and start with what I need, which is um, probably a variable to say how fast it follows. Blech. Public float boo, 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 speed. And it's kind of like um, in degrees. So I'll say like 20 since we're doing rotations. And then I need an object that I'm going to follow. But what I need of that object is its transform. So I'll say public transform follow position equals no. Okay, so I have this here. Let me save that. And now I could tell my script when it processes here. I could tell it the thing I want it to follow is my player. So that's how I'm going to pass that transform in there. And let me go back to my script and continue. So now in an update function, I'll need to slowly move this thing to point toward the cube, wherever it is. All right. So first things first, let me make sure if, let's see if I could actually make this um, object, the follower, just point to the cube. And that's a simple thing. That's a one-time command. Transform dot look at, and then I tell it what to look at, follow pause. So with this command, what happens is, let's press play, and notice as soon as it plays, it's going to just, bam, look at my cube. And since it's got that look at command inside the update function of follower, it will follow my cube but it is following it like in real time. There's no lag. And that may be what you want. But I'm making a racing game where I want the camera to follow the car a little bit slower. So I had to figure out a way to get this to follow slower than exactly, you know, on, on time all the time. So let me comment that out. So I found this other command, this.transform.rotation equals quaternion dot rotate towards and rotate towards it will move 
the rotation from a start rotation, which is wherever I am now, transform dot rotation of my object to, let's say, some random rotation. So I'll give it a random rotation. Euler, and I'll just say like something like 98, comma, I don't know, minus 25, comma, eh, I don't know, 120F. Okay, so I have a, a Euler angle that it's going to rotate toward, and then I'm going to give it a speed, how fast it rotates, so that will be speed times time delta time okay and that line's a little bit long put my little semicolon there let me open this up so you can see everything for that line so this one just we saw our work the cat the um object was pointing directly at all times and this one it's gonna rotate towards my target rotation not the object, not my cube yet. It's gonna to rotate toward a target rotation, which here I just gave it a random rotation, but it's gonna to rotate toward that direction at this speed. So it won't be exactly at the same time. So now let me save that and go back to Unity and press play and keep your eyes on the follow object. Okay, so here I press play and we'll see the follow follower slowly turns this time toward whatever angle that was that I had it to point at. I don't even know, I just gave it some random angle. And there it goes, it reaches that random angle and then stops. Okay, so the difference about this one was instead of look at, which just bam, points right there at it, with the rotate towards, I was able to give it like a speed to move toward the rotation. So I'm getting there, halfway there. So now what I wanna do is use rotate towards, but instead of this, angle I want to give it the angle that points to my cube my little player so let's try this again getting closer so what is the angle that looks at my cube my follow pause that will equal a quaternion and this I'll be calling my rotation target root target equals quaternion dot a look rotation, okay? That's a rotation to look towards some direction. So the direction I want it to look at is from my follow, pause dot, that is a transform array position, minus this position, transform dot position. So that's gonna, that's gonna give me the quaternion that has, um, from my follower to the follow position. Okay, so now I have a rotation here that equals this that I had put in over here for this Euler. Now I have a rotation. Now I'm gonna use that rotation like the way I did with the rotate toward function again. So I'll say this dot transform dot rotation equals quaternion dot, and I'll use the rotate towards function towards and it starts off from wherever it is, transform dot rotation. And it's gonna to rotate toward the rote target quaternion. And the speed is going to be the same thing, speed times time, delta time. Delta time. And let's save that. And let's go ahead and press play after the script processes, press play. And we'll see that again, it rotates slowly. Slowly it starts turning to point at the cube until it's pointing at the cube. Now, if I move around, you'll see that it slowly, and the slowness is basically my speed that I give it, points toward the cube. So I come over here and slowly it's gonna start turning and pointing toward me. And that was the thing that we wanted to do in this tutorial now. I can increase the speed that it rotates at to 100 degrees. And let's see how that works. 
and you can see it follows faster or like I said before I could just make it really slow like 10 10 degrees click back in here and you'll see that it takes its time but it is slowly turning toward my object and that was the goal of this tutorial so just for you to see again this follower could be a camera following your player this follower could be an object that is like a, a cannon that's turning to shoot you know so this is the code that did it right here that mattered first I have to get where is the destination rotation that I want to get to from wherever my object is actually pointing which is this transform position to the angle it has to point to to um, aim at the object I'm aiming at follow pause minus this pause look rotation that gives me the quaternion and then I just use that in the rotate towards to say from where I'm currently rotated toward to where I want to be rotated toward with a speed two lines of code there you go folks that bump bump